In this video, we're painting the Adeptus Arbites, or Arbites, or Arbiters, or whatever you want to call them, based on your local dialect. And I thought we'd go for something a little different and paint some futuristic boys in blue rather than the black box art. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get painting. The first thing I've done is prime the models in black. I've then airbrushed them with Canto Blue. Now, if you haven't got an airbrush, don't worry. You can just paint them Canto Blue. And what I would say is when you're painting them, paint the clothing this colour as well, because it'll just help you along as we go through the next steps. The first thing we're going to do is paint all of the clothing. So get that Canto Blue stage out of the way. I will paint all of the clothing with Rust Grey. So we're going for a lighter blue clothing and a darker blue armour colour. So this will take two coats, so just take your time. If you do spill it, don't worry, we'll go back and tidy the Canto Blue later. With that done, we can then paint all of the silver metallics. And the colour we're going to use for this is dark aluminium. Now, don't worry if you haven't got this colour, you can use Lead Belcher from Citadel absolutely fine i just prefer this because it's a lot smoother and the coverage tends to be better uh, out of the pod as well but it does need a good shake so go and find all those silver bits and paint them with this once that's dry we will shade everything and we're going to use null oil for this now i will flag that i am using the new formulation of null oil on this model not necessarily my favorite i do prefer the old one but for this it'll work fine because it will flow into those recesses a little bit better I'll now go back in and black out some of those areas that are going to be the darker colours. Now, if you haven't used an airbrush and you've just painted uh, the layers as we've gone, then congratulations, this bit will probably be very easy for you. Uh, but for me, I've got to go back in and be careful around all the areas I've finished. So we're painting the boots, the leather, uh, parts of the weapons, such as those truncheons, uh, and making sure that uh, we've got a nice finish on them. Next up, we'll base all of the gold, and the colour I'm this is Retribute Armour. Now, be careful with this because it's very easy to get too much on your brush. And you can see here I started off with a little bit too much as well. Uh, we're just focusing on things like the shoulder guard. If you've got the uh, the proctor as well, he needs his headrest done. And just any aquilas, we're going to paint them with the gold as well. We'll then shade all of that gold using Reichland Flesh Shade. Now, this is the old formula Reichland Flesh Shade, and I much prefer this to anything else. So I've got a few pots of this stashed away. If you've got the new one, that'll work too. Put one coat on see how you feel if you want it to be a little bit darker then obviously put a second coat on uh, but for me just the one coat should be fine here just again being careful around areas we've already finished because the less we have to clean up the quicker we'll be we'll start that highlighting process now and the first thing we'll highlight is all of that gold so the color we want is liberated gold now this is a paint that really needs a good shake so make sure that it is well mixed before you go to paint it and we're looking to catch all of those raised edges so where you can you can drag your brush along the shape of the model in other areas you can look and just catch those bits that are going to hit the light such as the wings on the aquilas that we've got across all of the models we'll finish off the metallics next and the color we can use is chrome from vallejo model air now if you haven't got chrome don't worry stonehouse silver is fine it's not quite as bright and it's not quite as good consistency which is why i use the chrome but it will work absolutely fine and in terms of what we're looking to do, we're looking to just catch those most raised edges around the model of all the silver so that we do get a little bit of a nice bright pop on there. The first bit of material we will highlight is all of the black areas. So the colour we want for this is Eshin Grey. Now this is a nice transition between black and a lighter grey highlight and we can afford to put this on in a fairly chunky manner. Now where we can, we want to pull this along the shape of the model so that we'll use the tip of the brush and get a nice smooth highlight where we have to use the tip of the brush just paint in some of the highlights be a little careful but you can always go back in and go back over it with black if you need to the final highlight on the black is with dawnstone and again this is a nice simple straightforward step all we really want to do is paint this inside that airshine gray of the last step so we're looking for very little on our brush and make sure we've got a really good tip on there as well and we're going to pull it along the shape of the model to get those nice sharp highlights while we've got the door sewn out, we'll go over those areas that are going to be white later on. So we've got that stripe down the middle of the helmet. I mean, if you want to paint any other parts white, then you can base it with this as well. And we're also going to base the medic's case and his arm guard, his van brace, because that'll just make it easier when it comes to basing those in later. Don't worry about getting a nice solid coat. We just want to take the edge off and lighten the area a little bit so it makes it easier later on. Next, we look to paint in all of those purity seals and ribbons we've got on the model. So this is a really simple step. The first thing we're going to do is just take some Rakar flesh and paint this all over those purity seals. Now, this should cover in one coat, but you may need a second. So just take your time. Don't put it on too thick. 
Next up, we'll cover that with Agrax Earthshade. Now, it's really important that we don't flood this too much because we don't want it to be too dark. We just want it to be nice and subtle. So just take a little bit of Agrax Earthshade and work it into those recesses. When that Agrax Earthshade is dry, you can then go back in and just highlight those raised edges using Rakarth Flesh. Now, for me, this is enough of a highlight. If you want to take it further, you can put a little Pallid Witch Flesh in just to catch those edges, but I'm happy just with the Rakarth Flesh highlight at this point. We'll move on to basing all of the white parts next, as well as those lenses, because what we're going to do is use contrast paints over white. So first off, take some Corax White and use this to paint all of the lenses and the visors. And of course, we can always move on to those parts of the model that are going to be white as well. So in this case, we've got the stripe along the back of the helmet, as well as the medic's case and his van brace. We can shade all of that then using soul blight gray now this is one of those shades that really does need a good shake i use a vortex mixer to make sure it's all mixed together so we're going to take this soul blight gray and paint this over all of the parts that we've just painted white so this is really easy when it comes to that medics van brace and case we're going to paint the inside of the visors we should also base all of the purity seal wax with corax white and we'll put some soul blight gray into that as well i'll show you how this is going to work in the next few steps now, I've also painted the power nodes on those shock sticks with Corax White. So there's a lot of white on the model. It's time to go in and highlight it. So the first thing we're going to do is highlight all of the lenses. Now, the color I'm going to use is bold titanium white. You can use white scar if that's what you've got, but any, any bright white should be fine. So I'm looking to dab this over those raised parts of the power nodes because when we put a contrast paint over it, that's going to be really key to getting that glow effect. We're also going to paint it over all of the lenses around the model and the center of the visors the other thing we'll do with this bright white is we'll use it to highlight the medic's case and also his van brace so all we're going to look to do is catch those sharp edges on the model and finally we're going to look to use it to highlight the apothecary icon on that pack as well as well as the first aid uh, icon on his van brace so we'll get a little bit of a brighter white on there and that'll stand us in good stead for what we'll do next We'll paint in the visors and any visor slits on shields next. And the color we're going to use for this is Griff Hound Orange Contrast Paint. Now, it's really important that we don't get too carried away with this and flood the area. What we're looking to do is just make sure that we're using a nice thin layer. And this should give us a nice effect on that visor to really brighten what we're doing. We'll then use Blood Angel's Red Contrast Paint over all of the lenses on the model, apart from maybe one, uh, which we can do in a different color if we want. Once we've got all those lenses done, we'll also use it to paint in the iconography on that Medicaid bag. So take your time with this because you don't really want to spill it on the white paint. But what we'll find is all that under highlighting that we've already done should help us get a nice punchy red effect on there. We'll also use that Blood Angels Red on all of the wax of the Purity Seals as well. To help that red stand out, we'll use a small amount of Wild Rider Red. And we're just going to use this to catch the most raised areas so it'll give it a really nice highlight. Like I said, we'll use a different color for some of the other lenses. And I've just gone with striking scorpion green contrast paint, which is a nice bright green. Uh, again, this is optional. You can do everything red if you want. When it comes to that shock stick, we're going to do a really easy glow effect. So first off, we're going to take some frost heart contrast paint and paint this all over those power nodes. Once we've done one row, we're just going to clean our brush off, take our finger and wipe the paint off those top nodes. And that'll give us a nice bright white power node with a nice glow around it. And that is as simple as can be. So just do this for all the other nodes on the model and we should be good to go. We'll start highlighting all of the cloth next. So the first color we're going to use is rust gray. And again, all we're looking to do is just catch those wide areas of cloth where we don't want the null oil. So we're just leaving the darkest color in the recesses. Now, this is nice and easy and straightforward. There's a huge amount of cloth on the models, but it's really important that we just work our way around, taking our time not to spill this over parts we've already finished. We'll finish off that cloth using Fenrisian Grey. And again, this is just going to be along those folds and creases that we've got standing out. We don't want to use too much of this. We just want to use it to accentuate some of the folds, that we, especially where we've got them on the arms and uh, on the back of the legs. Now, if you need to, take some Cantor Blue and tidy up any spillages across the rest of the armour. And what we'll do now is highlight it. And this is the last stage we're going to do. And this is the reason we do it last, is because it just means that we can make sure it's really tidy. We don't have to keep going back and forth and correcting mistakes. 
So the first highlight is going to be with Calador Sky. And what we're looking to do, again, is just catch all those raised parts of the model. There's plenty of them. Those armor panels have got nice angles on them that we can use to catch and create a really nice, uh, smooth highlight. Next up, we'll use some Hoeth Blue. And really what we're looking to do with this is get this inside the Calador Sky of the last step. Now, this will start to brighten the armor quite a bit. So just take your time with it put a little bit on to start with you can always go back and add more if you need to this is a really easy straightforward step as well so just make sure you haven't got too much paint on your brush and the last thing we'll do is just take some Fenrisian grey and use this on the sharpest edges of armor so we want to use this fairly sparingly across the model just on those absolute extreme edges and that are going to catch the most light so it's really easy nice and straightforward and that is the model done let's have a look at them on the turntable and there we have it. These Arbites are done and dusted, ready for the table to dispense justice. Obviously, I've got a few more to paint to complete the set as well as that Cyber Mastiff. So I'll get back to them in the background. But otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed a different color scheme to the box art. And check out my other content. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I'll see you next time.